Hey y'all, so I've gotten a lot of requests lately to come back and film videos and now that I don't have school lingering over my head, I decided summer would be a perfect time to kind of get back into that, although I don't really know what y'all want me to film. So if you have any requests, please leave them below so that I'm filming stuff y'all want to see instead of me rambling on, which is probably what's going to happen in this video. But I just got back from the beach a couple of hours ago and I decided it could be fun to kind of kick off the summer and do a what's in my pool or beach bag kind of video. And so this is just what I took to the beach with me. It is this big canvas tote with pink and it has my monogram on it on a pocket in navy and this like circly thing. It's really cute. I can't remember where it's from but I'll try to link below if I do remember or if I can find one similar. But I just kind of wanted to take out the contents kind of as my unpacking um, and show y'all what's in here. A lot of the stuff that's in here you ne wouldn't necessarily have in your bag, you may be wearing, but still fun to show y'all what I have in here. Also, I'm hoping to film a question and answers video soon because I like watching those so I thought maybe y'all would and it's a way for new viewers to get to know me and old viewers to get to know me even better. So leave any questions below and I'll answer them in a video soon. But I'm just going to jump into the contents because that's what this video is about. So the first thing I have is just a like Tervis, well it's not Tervis tumbler but it is a cup and I keep water in it. I always get super thirsty at the beach. I mean when you're out in the sun you're bound to and I like this one because it holds the ice for a while and this is just a lily one in my sorority print. So that's the first thing in there. Then I like to have something to read. I'm currently looking for a good book so if y'all know of any fun summer reads or things that you think I may like leave them below because I went to the bookstore the other day and I could not find anything that just like really struck a chord with me so I've read Something Borrowed and it's a good light easy beach read and then I also threw in the J. Crew catalog that came in the mail right before I left so I took those with me and then something that is necessary to have for a beach trip are sandals or flip flops or chacos or whatever so this is just a pair of jacks that I took with me I don't really like wearing jacks and like Nike shorts and that sort of thing but with a cute cover up you are set to go we went to lunch yesterday but we took the boat so having these with me was great because I just threw on a cover up and over my bathing suit and I was set to go and um, that cover up is downstairs but it's just like a toss on lily dress um, really casual but comfortable and I threw it on over my swimsuit but I have another fun cover up in here that I haven't worn yet but I'm super excited about because it has one of my favorite things and that is pom-poms so it's a super cute teal clearly I haven't worn it the tag's still on it and I'm gonna link this below it's almost like a poncho type because at the bottom are the pom-poms and then at the top it has this cute trim that's pink so pink and blue are just a really cute color combination especially for summer so I'm excited to wear that soon and I'm sorry if the lighting keeps changing I'm pretty sure it's about to storm but about five minutes ago it was nice outside so it could be switching up because I'm sitting in front of a window so next kind of gearing on the cuter side so if you're going to be um, going to a restaurant or something from the beach or you're at a pool and you want to look cuter I like to keep fun bracelets in my bag these are just two I actually made these tassel bracelets uh, this one is purple and this one is orange and then in various purses that I use in the summer I have like the pink and the blue and all these other colored ones but they're super fun to slip on if you just want to spruce up your outfit next I have a hat which is a bit more practical I actually have two hats I usually wear baseball hats when I am riding on the boat or just hanging out on the beach so that my son doesn't my son my face doesn't get too sunburned so this is just one by the Southern Shirt Company and it's a cute coral one with their little cotton emblem and then I also have this fun one that's from Marley Lily that is just like a almost like a derby hat and so a lot of people wear them with sundresses and cute stuff like that but because I don't have those to go to because I'm home for the summer I just take it with me to the beach and it has my monogram on the back which is fun so next in here I have a bathing suit top that I haven't unpacked yet um, most of the time I would be wearing that when I'm going to the beach but this one is just a really fun light blue seersucker 
top with ruffles and a bow and it's just a bandeau and it is from Lauren James and I will also I'll try to link anything that I can below but I know they still have some of these in stock and they also have them in pink but I have this one and another really cute style from that brand and I love them so next I have some sunscreen I have regular like SPF 30 but I also have this that if you're just kind of laying out and trying to get some color this is banana boats it's only SPF 8 so that's only if I know that I'm not going to be out in the sun for too long and um, I won't get too burned. Oh, that was loud. Next, I have some deodorant because you're out in the sun, you're going to start sweating. I don't want to smell bad. This is just Dove Advanced Care Nourished Beauty, I guess that's the scent. It smells really good. I like the way it smells. It smells really clean and fresh, so perfect for summer. and. It's 48 hours, so hopefully that keeps you smelling good all day. This is just my little portable charger. I don't even know. It's by EC Tech. It's great because it can charge my phone multiple times on one charge, um, and I just keep it in this little pouch that I have. So I like to have that with me because I don't want my phone to die when I am out at the beach. <laughs> Next, another smell good thing, and I don't know why I have two in here, but I have two little rollerball perfumes that if I'm getting off the boat or you know going to eat at a restaurant by the pool I just throw a little bit of this on my wrist to hopefully smell even better and this is the Tory Burch one she only has one scent I think so that's it and it smells really great I got this for Christmas and I use it all the time and then I also have this one that's from Anthropology that it's more of a summery kind of a fruity scent but not too fruity um, and it's by Go Be Lovely and I think it's called Thai Lily and it smells so good Oh, both of these smell so great. So that's kind of a nice little trick to have on hand if you want to smell extra good when you're at the beach or the pool. Next I have my sunglasses, which is just practical. I have had these, the kids I babysit for, which is my summer job, um, were like, how long have you had your sunglasses? Because they were talking about sunglasses and I was like, oh, I got them freshman year of high school. And I just realized that that's so long ago and my sunglasses are older than two of the children I babysit for, which is funny. But these are actually the kid size Ray-Ban aviators because I have a really small face. And so they just look like that. Obviously I didn't put them on all the way, but I like to keep them in their case so they don't break and they can live a long life as they have thus far. So that's just a good thing to take with you. Then I have two Luna bars because any of my friends would tell you I go pretty much everywhere with these. This is my favorite flavor and it's the chocolate peppermint stick. So if I'm ever getting hungry and it's not time to eat yet, I'll just eat one of these and be satisfied for a little while. So if you haven't tried those, you need to go try them. Next, I have a hairbrush so that when you're getting, for me, off the boat, um, as I did this weekend, I would brush near my hair because it gets to be a tangled, knotty mess. And then I only have a couple more things. I have this lip kind of combo, which may seem weird, but I always forget to put chapstick or sunscreen on my lips, and they get burned, which is terrible. So when they do get burned, I like to use this. It's a by Lush. Um, it's their Mint Julep Lip Scrub. It tastes and smells so good. I mean, you probably shouldn't eat it, but you can. And I just exfoliate with that, and then I put on my favorite chapstick, and this is Aquaphor, and it's just the immediate relief, um, and it relieves dryness and soothes chapped, cracked lips. So if I remember beforehand, I'll throw this on or throw on some sort of chapstick with SPF so that my lips don't get burned, but if I forget, at least I have these with me in case I need them. And then lastly, I just have this little Kate Spade pouch with my car keys and house key. Um, with the money and cards and my car key uh, just to have with me in case I need it or need to purchase something so that always goes in my bag and I love this because instead of carrying a purse in the summer I can just grab this grab my phone get out the door so that is in there and then oh, the last couple of things I like to keep some hair ties in my bag just in case my hair ties break or I need another one or a friend needs to borrow them. These are just like the no crease ones which are great especially at the pool because they're like a swimsuit material and they dry really fast. So I like to keep those in there and then I keep my phone in there and this is just the iPhone 5. It's a white one 
with a lily case. So that is the contents of my pool bag and I hope y'all enjoyed this video and are looking forward to some more content from me on here. If you do ever miss me on here then you can always check out my blog and social media which will be linked below. My blog is www.preppingyourstep.com and all of my social media pretty much is at Prepping Your Step. So follow along there and I'm excited to be uploading more videos for y'all and I will talk to you later. Bye!